Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you a scene between a Brotherhood of Steel Paladin and Colonel Moore arguing about power armor where the player should have been able to help resolve the argument but because of a bug this scene never seems to properly occur. The way to encounter this scene to begin with is when tasked with locating and destroying the Brotherhood of Steel by Colonel Moore during the main questline for the Republic, you can instead befriend them and by keeping McNamara as the Elder, receive an option to bring a truce offer to the NCR and form an alliance between the two. Go to the NCR commander and tell her the Brotherhood is willing to put aside our enmity for the time being. When returning to the dam and entering the power plant, you should be immediately faced with this cutscene. This is unacceptable. We demand the immediate return of our power armor. A battle is about to be fought out there. To come here requesting our men to give up their armor is insane. It is not your armor. That power armor is property of the Brotherhood of Steel, and you have no right to claim it as your own. For those who don't know, most of the salvaged power armor that the NCR equips their troops with have been taken from the Brotherhood during the multi-year war between the two. NCR technicians stripped out the joint servos from the original armor, making it more difficult to use, but allowing those without special training to utilize it, that's why it can be used without power armor training. Now there are a couple of ways we can help resolve this argument. First we can talk to Paladin Todd. <laughs> NCR? No better than common thieves. Where do they get off stealing our armor? He is the envoy sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to sign the truce agreement with the NCR. Unlike most Brotherhood Paladins who wear the T-51B power armor, Todd is wearing the more inferior T-45D armor instead. With a speech check of at least 40, it's possible to convince Todd to allow the NCR to continue using their armor during the battle for Hoover Dam. It would mean more people better protected and able to fight. But if your speech is not high enough, he will respond with... Yes, it would be. We can't have outsiders running around using our technology. You can also just let them solve this issue on their own. I'm sure that we can. Another option is to talk to more. Damn brotherhood. Bunch of elitist jerks. What were we to do, leave good armor out in the wastes to rust? And by having a speech check of at least 60 or higher, convince her to give up the power armor. Fine, this isn't worth the trouble to fight over. Not having a high enough speech skill just like with Todd will result in her dismissing the player's request. No, we have men to outfit and are putting it to good use. And again, you can just leave them to resolve this issue on their own. Wait for me downstairs, this won't take long which can result into two outcomes. One where Moore would give in and agree to give up the armor. You know what? I don't need this bit right now. We'll take off that goddamn power armor if it'll just shut you up. And the other that I haven't personally been able to trigger, where Moore would order soldiers to deal with the paladin and kill him, keeping the armor. If you want to fix this scene in your own game, the unofficial patch by Yukichi Guy on Nexus Mods does just that. Check out the download link in the description below and let me know what you guys think. Have you ever had this scene occur in your game? Leave a comment below and thanks for watching.